there. Remember me? I'm the guy that uh, used to do episodes of a show called US 101, and I was the same guy that promised you that new episodes of uh, US 101 would be happening after this past summer when I put up the last episode. But you, you maybe you remember me, maybe you don't. Anyway, hi, nice to see you. Yeah, so lack of episodes, that is certainly my bad, everybody. Um, reason for that, to be completely honest with you, is because uh, this past summer, I was physically, mentally just drained, exhausted. Because last year, for those of you that don't know, um, I completed my first year of teaching. And I had to do about 90 to 95% of that teaching um, remotely online because, you know, last year we were in the throes of a pandemic, not like we're not in the throes of a pandemic now, but we were in the throes of a pandemic last year. Yeah, th this summer I was uh, incredibly tired, incredibly drained, and that's why there were no new episodes that came out. Um, after I had posted that one episode about uh, the walking tour uh, at Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home, which I filmed this past summer when I was out east in Washington, D.C. and in Virginia. And to keep you up to speed, guys, since then, I've now entered my second year of teaching, and we are back 100% in the classroom. I'm not online anymore. Now we're back, which is nice. It's... it's 100% better than teaching remotely because first of all, I can actually uh, see my students. I can see their faces instead of just seeing them as black boxes on Google Meet and I can also hear their voices and we can have conversation and dialogue and discussion, it's infinitely better. So again, last year teaching remotely, which exhausted me, now coming back from the classroom physically teaching this year, uh, I do come home also exhausted because this is the first time I'm teaching in the classroom and this is a brand new arena for me, which means I come home just physically drained. And to be honest with you, I didn't want to come home after a long day or a long week of work teaching students and then putting up a camera and trying to write a script and trying to quickly research a specific topic. And it just, I didn't want to be disrespectful to you guys by putting up a subpar product. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There have been a few times over the past few months where I've thought of just completely deleting the channel, deleting US 101. Why? Why did I need it anymore? I figured, I was like, well, I, I started it off, uh, did it for a few years, I got into grad school and it, it furthered my love of history and I actually reached the goal of becoming a history teacher, so, Job done. Not to mention that I've been hearing and seeing from other educational YouTubers, friends of mine, that complain a lot about the fact that YouTube tends to demonetize a lot of educational content and the algorithm doesn't really pump up educational content, which means their audiences, despite how much work they really do put into their content, um, it's not going to be seen by that wider audience. So I thought to myself, why am I going to put myself through this whole rigmarole. I don't understand, like, wh what is the point? But then, I, I can't shake this feeling that there is still more that I can do with this platform. I'm not done with this thing yet, man. And I'm also not burdened with the idea of I have to create videos and create content all the time to make a living out of it, like some of my friends here on YouTube that do do this full time, which by the way, I respect you guys a million percent. I could not do this for a living, all right? I would get just anxiety upon anxiety knowing that anything that I make, the, the money and the, and the livelihood that I would make relies on how many people watch my videos. And I would just, just the, the, the headaches I would get, I'm not, I'm not ready for that. So knowing that I don't have to shoulder the burden of YouTube being my livelihood, I can create and experiment and try new ways of making videos and branch out into different topics that I want to present. So this past summer, while I was on sabbatical from US 101, I started diving back into reading uh, comic books. Uh, <laughs> I've been a big comic book fan my, my whole life. I stopped reading them for, for a few years, but uh, I've fallen back in love with them. Specifically, Superman comic books, because Superman is my all-time favorite, as I've mentioned on this show before. And for the longest time, I flirted with the idea of making a just a gigantic project about the Man of Steel, and I was toying with different ways I would go about presenting it. Would I make it a book, maybe a podcast, maybe a documentary series? But the thing is, is I wouldn't just make this project about like a timeline of Superman or a history of the character of Superman. That's been done 
more than once by people that are much better at it than I am. So keeping my content on this channel within the lens of US history, that's what I wanna do. I want to create a project about Superman that looks at him from a historical perspective, a US history perspective. How did US history shape the character of Superman over the past 80 some years that the character has been around? So here's the plan. In order for me to try to make these videos as good as I can make them, I'm going to limit the number of releases that uh, I make on this channel to just one video a month. Reason for that, guys, is because I want to be able to have the time to do the research that I'll need to do to create these videos while also not infringing on the responsibilities that I have uh, day to day as a teacher. Additionally, putting out only one video a month, guys, allows me to focus much more specifically on certain time periods and to provide you with way more context. Because as I have said on this channel time and time again, and I say this to my students as well, context is key. And as a historian, guys, I I'm someone that's always wanted to dive into the history of American pop culture because American pop culture very much reflects what America is going through at specific times. If you just look at movies, music, art, dance, comic books, television, all of these things explain in some way what America is going through socially, economically, politically, and so on. So I see this project as my own little contribution to that ongoing discussion, and I hope you guys will join me in that discussion by offering up your thoughts, your ideas, your feelings about this project as it goes. So there you have it, guys. This is the plan that I'm moving forward with over the course of the next year because I want to, first of all, hold myself accountable as a creator to keep creating content, but then also to sharpen my skills as a historian within this field. That's my cat. That's Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, baby. And I also hope that over the course of this project, I'll be able to reach out to other historians who have extensively researched uh, the decades that I want to cover in U.S. history, as well as those... <laughs> Hi, baby. As well as historians that have uh, researched Superman at, uh, at an academic level. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for listening to me rant. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble. And thanks to all of you that have continued to support this channel and to subscribe to the channel. Somehow, people are still finding the videos and subscribing. I guess YouTube hasn't fully uh, closed the book on US 101 yet. As always, you can follow US 101 on the social media platforms. The links are down below in the description box. And I really hope that this project encourages you to look at U.S. history through different lenses, not just through the typical textbook or the, the, the history books that you buy about the founding and then Civil War and then Reconstruction. And hopefully this provides you a whole new lens in which you can study U.S. history with. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am all done. And uh, I wonder if the logo should maybe look a little bit different for this upcoming year.